Hey, this is Josh Mass, Mass Gun Works. I just want to take a minute and share with you guys something I'm working on here. It's kind of a rare firearm. Uh, it's very historic, and it's kind of a odd, um, kind of an odd gun for me to have to to work on. This is a 1894 3040 Craig, and I know it's a little tough to see because I've got it in this jig, but my customer wanted me to drill and tap it for a scope. So this is something that is kind of a precise process. It takes some specialized tools. And you really need to know what you're doing or you're going to screw it up. So what I've done is I've taken the rifle out of the stock, which is over here. See, it's really neat looking old wood stock this gun's over 100 years old it's um one of only 2000 made for that year but you take and you put it in, in this jig and then i use these holes and these bushings that are sized to very snugly fit around my drill bits to precisely locate where the holes go and then after I get the hole located I have to drill it out and I take a tap like this it's basically a screw with really sharp hard threads on it and I cut the threads in that hole I've already done two right here you can see and we're moving the mount from where it was up here my customer got a different kind of scope and it's not allowing him to uh, mount it like he'd like, so we're removing that for him. Um, so you take your, take your hand drill, and I've already measured with the micrometer and marked my depth with a piece of tape. And then we're gonna take and put it in this bushing. And we're gonna run it to depth as marked on the piece of tape. And then I'm gonna take this caliper. It's got a thing that pops out the bottom. I can see how deep I'm going. I'm gonna double check my depth. As you can see up here on my grease board, <clears throat> I know that my bushing is one inch 20 thousandths deep. I need to drill my hole 236 thousandths deep, which gives me a total depth of one inch 256. And I've added a little bit in there because the tap doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the hole and you need some extra clearance. So once we get this done, we're gonna take this mount right here. And we're gonna screw it down and he'll be able to use this gun to deer hunt with uh, with a scope which is important to him because he's older his eyes aren't what they used to be it makes hunting more enjoyable for him so i'm going to get this hole drilled and i'll show you what it looks like when it's all done so moral of the story here if you want to get this type of work done you can't just take this stuff to anybody. You need to make sure that you take your firearm to somebody that has the experience and the tools to get the job done properly. And you may have to pay a little bit more, but I would rather pay the extra money and make sure that this job is done correctly and that I'm not gonna have to have it redone and pay more money uh, because somebody did a, a bad job. And unfortunately, there are some guys out there that think they know what they're doing and they don't. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about them, but you have to be careful. So, like I said, when I get this done, I'll take a picture of the firearm, put it all back together, and I'll post it with the video. So, hope you have a good day.